You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update and there's new video that's been released what police believe is the moments after a 15 year old was shot and killed in southwest Baltimore. Police say they are looking for the person you see on your screen there running in this video calling them a person of interest in this case. Josie Portillo was shot in the middle of the afternoon on Tuesday right outside a corner store on East Baltimore Street in Highland Town. And his murder comes just one week after another 15 year old Janai Whedon was also shot and killed. No arrests have been made in either of these cases and anyone with information can always call Metro Crime Stoppers. Leave an anonymous tip at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Well, new mandates are in place for certain health care workers in Maryland. Governor Larry Hogan announced yesterday that staff at all nursing homes and hospitals will be required to be vaccinated by September 1st. If a person doesn't want to be vaccinated or disclose their status, they will have to go through weekly testing for the COVID-19 virus. After Governor Hogan announced his mandate, the Maryland Hospital Association released a statement saying that most hospitals in Maryland are already requiring their workers to be vaccinated. And the surge in COVID-19 cases has caused country music singer Garth Brooks to cancel his upcoming show here in Baltimore. He was supposed to perform in October at M&T Bank Stadium. He hopes to reschedule once cases go back down. So anyone who bought a ticket to the show, you will get a refund. Also worth mentioning Brad Paisley's concert that was scheduled for September 5th in Ocean City. That has also been rescheduled for June 12th of next year. And ticket holders for that concert have until September 6th to request a refund. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Thursday, Maryland. If you're a fan of the heat and the humidity, you will love how today will feel. Uh, daytime highs climb into the upper 80s and the lower 90s, so slightly above normal for this time of year. And unfortunately, that humidity lingers for the folks who don't like the humidity. It's going to linger throughout the rest of the work week and into the weekend, and we're also tracking some rain, even some storm chances as well. It's actually going to be feeling like the mid to upper 90s as we head around 2 to 3 o'clock today, even though air temperatures only cap out around the lower 90s this afternoon. A slight dip in the temperature department for Friday with highs in the mid 80s with that chance for some showers and storms more likely in the morning, more spottier in the afternoon, and then turning warm and humid into the weekend. All right, thank you very much, Stevie, and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather. While you are out and about, you can download the WMAR2 News app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.